The transformation. My husband and I have been together for 10 years. I'm 28, he's 30. Been married for three years. I'm pregnant with baby number two. Backstory. In the first few years of our relationship, I moved out of province to nanny for a family and got lonely. I slept with a guy I met online. My husband, boyfriend at the time, found out I was seeing this guy through my Instagram account, confronted me, and I told him what I did. We got over it, though, obviously not deep enough, as issues regarding me sleeping with this other person still come up eight years later. It turns out, when my husband found out about this other person, he actually liked it, and our relationship took a strange turn. We began experimenting with hot wife fantasies where I would sleep with others and send him pictures or tell him about it. I semi-regularly checked in with him, making sure he is still okay with the arrangement and he never once spoke up about changing anything. Fast forward to me being pregnant with baby number two. Every time we get pregnant, we take a break from this cuckold lifestyle for obvious reasons. Well, it turns out that when I was pregnant with baby number one, I find out he frequented strip clubs and paid for strippers. This was obviously not part of our arrangement, even without me being pregnant. But it hurts even more to find out that he did it while I was pregnant, and we were both supposed to be focusing on our relationship and soon new baby. Upon further investigation, I find out he's been on 11 plus dating sites, messaging both men and women, telling some women that he would meet up with them. I never caught him saying this to men, but he did tell me he exchanged nude photos with men and women. Looking for validation, he tells me he has a dirty addiction on and off, depending on the argument we are having. We have been to four or so marriage counseling session, didn't think our counselor was a great fit for us considering our very out-of-the-norm relationship, we just didn't feel like she understood us enough to help us. So now I'm here, nine months pregnant into a relationship for ten years and find out all along, my husband has been sort of living this second life online and in strip clubs. You may find yourself judging me for being angry with him because of our cuckold lifestyle but it was the lack of communication and lying behind my back that hurt so deeply. Also, finding this out while pregnant with his baby is also pretty painful. Please refrain from being harsh, as I'm nine months pregnant, feeling like I don't have trust in my relationship. I don't have much hope that we will get better, as we have a seemingly large problem with lack of communication. I don't have anyone to talk to about this, as I feel stigmatized because of our original cuckold arrangement. So here I am, trying to get some gentle advice from strangers on the internet. I don't see myself without him, I want to forgive him, we do love each other, but not just don't know how I can trust him again. What signs should I be looking for? And in your opinion, does it sound like he has a physical addiction? I'm so lost, it's so fresh, and I'm 38 weeks pregnant, really needing support from him during this time and finding it hard to lean on him when I feel like I don't even know him. My comment, I am not sure what you want exactly, it is a crappy situation, he has violated your consent, and no, you don't deserve it because you guys have a kink. And just to note, just because he ended up enjoying it doesn't mean that you should get a pass for cheating on him in the first place. If I were in your situation, I would end the relationship. I don't know if he has an addiction or not but lying would be a deal breaker to me. But I get that you are in a difficult place. Being nine months pregnant makes things complicated. Is he seeking individual counseling? Have you guys looked for counselors who serve the kink population? What else is he doing to address he saw? Has he fully disclosed or is he only admitting what he thinks you already know? These are the questions you are going to have to ask yourself. OP responds, I agree, I'm not innocent. But I was 19, he was my only physical partner, he took my virginity. I made a stupid mistake 8 years ago, and I have not broken his trust since. After reading another poster's comment on my thread I realized that even though he said he was over it and forgave me, there was absolutely some subconscious trauma left behind, and unhealthy coping mechanisms brought on. We decided to move forward and build a family, set black and white parameters with our new lifestyle, and he chose to break them, especially sleeping with strippers, prostitutes then coming home to me to sleep with me while I'm pregnant, with baby hash one. He could have hurt our baby. I effed up, but now I feel like he effed up bigger and during a more vulnerable time in my life. Something else I didn't mention was that when I asked him if he even considered me or my health while I was pregnant, he flat out said no. He didn't consider it. I appreciate all these new perspectives. When you aren't able to talk to anyone about such a large secret, you sometimes can't tell who is right and who is wrong, and what sounds crazy and what doesn't. Sharing my story and hearing from others is helping to ground me a little, and I appreciate you offering your opinion, while still being gentle enough towards me. I like your suggestion to look for a counselor who has experience with kink couples. I hadn't thought this could even be a thing to look for. But on the internet, I suppose you can find anything, and remote counseling might be a good idea. Thank you for sharing. He did trickle truth, but I feel like there is a good chance I know about 95% of the secrets. You can never know for sure though. He may be attempting to cope with the trauma I caused him by reliving it in a more controlled environment. I'll have to read more about this so I can understand better. With regards to defining our marriage, in short, we might use this term, but if we were to explain it in more detail, open definition would not fit. 
Of course, this relationship was also beneficial to me, but it was he who started the cuckold portion. I found out he was watching cheating porn and asked him about it. He explained that he actually enjoyed thinking about me with other men, and the rest is history, as you know. So as far as my understanding, it was mutually beneficial. Where we went wrong was me not asking often enough and him not sharing that he actually did have other urges he was apparently not telling me about. So, he went behind my back. I really truly appreciate you taking the time to offer your insight in a constructive and gentle way. It's opening my mind and giving me some suggestions on how to move forward. As much as we had couples therapy, I think he could benefit from individual also. We will try and make this happen. They say it takes 3 to 5 years to rebuild trust and this was 8 years ago. I have not gone behind his back since, sorry, I know I messed up royally and wasn't trying to diminish. Even though it was a while ago, clearly, he is still messed up by my affair. It's hard to not address blame when trying to get over this. I'm open to leaving it out of the discussion but I guess what I'm looking for is what we should be talking about. What should be laying on the table? How do we both move forward? What can he do to rebuild my trust in him? So, I think I can't make a hard decision about what I want while going through such a drastic period of change. Women really don't feel like themselves being super pregnant. I do think defining this in the very near future after the baby comes will help me with my next relationship moves. I agree, it's important to figure out what we both want and define it clearly. That's what our counselor said also. I just can't arrive at that definition right now. Comment. Let's put aside your initial infidelity, which probably did impact your husband deeply. The lifestyle you agreed to and embraced is completely antithetical to a healthy relationship, and especially a family. I'm sorry to say I'm not sure I see any way to a good ending for you. The only way forward I can see would be to end and bury your dysfunctional marriage and re-establish your marriage as a monogamous relationship, reform your boundaries, and move forward together as such, and get serious individual and joint counseling. Can you both actually survive and overcome the pain and dysfunction of your history? I don't know. But that's the best shot you have. That's assuming you really want to try to save this marriage. You need to be able to respect each other for a successful marriage. You need to ask yourself if you can really respect a husband who would allow himself to be a cuckold. Can you really look at a man who would allow his wife to give herself to other men with admiration and respect? And can he respect you after participating in it? OP responds, I did expect to have a healthy relationship. Normal. By whose standards? Every relationship is extremely unique and what works with one couple will not work with the other. With regards to the subtle kink shaming regarding my husband's enjoyment in cuckold, or me sleeping with others, yes, I can still look at him and respect him. That does not bear any weight on my wanting to be with him. The issue I am having in my marriage right now is the fact that he went behind my back and crossed boundaries that we had talked about, set and both agreed to. The ethical non-monogamy I don't think was the issue it was the lack of ethics with regards to what he chose to do behind my back. Did the ethical non-monogamy blur the lines for him and maybe give him a sense of moral go-ahead? Maybe. I think this is a very complex situation and there is no one thing that led us to where we are. As someone else mentioned, blaming one another might not be so important, and maybe we should be focusing our energy on propelling forward as opposed to establishing who is most at fault. We both understand that if we are going to work at this, we need to be very clear with boundaries and that if someone chooses to cross them after they've been clearly communicated, we will not work. Upon reflection, we didn't spend enough time communicating our hard boundaries. It was something that in hindsight we really should have spent more time on. At this point, working on our relationship issues are on pause until baby girl is born in two weeks and probably a short well after she's born so we can get settled. We are going to take all of these tips, evaluate where we see our relationship in the future and begin reaching out to the professionals who can help us with the best chances of getting there. My comment, this is the reason why I tell people to be responsible adults before becoming parents. If you like to play with fire, you will eventually get burnt. Story 2. My wife and I have been married for 15 years. I have always felt that we have a rock-solid relationship with no real problems. A few months back, my wife started having some bouts of depression. There were days she just got down and didn't care. Over the past few years, she has also worked very very hard to get into shape. She is in amazing shape now and looks phenomenal. A month or two after she began having her fight with depression, she started posting selfies and began getting very positive feedback from friends. This, of course, have her a bit of a confidence boost and she started feeling a little better. There were a couple of creeps who would hard react to every selfie and post inappropriate comments. I noted how uncomfortable I was with this and she deleted these people saying if it hurts me, it hurts her too. Over time, she stopped posting selfies in her wall and moved more towards just posting in her Facebook stories. She began receiving multiple messages and friend requests every day. She was very upfront and told me she absolutely loves the attention and has had zero feelings of depression since she's been getting this attention. I swallowed my pride and didn't say much because it made her happy, even though it was hurting me. That eventually developed into a craving for social interaction. 
She was yes to go hang out with friends by herself without me, because she needed time to herself to get away from the family setting and have fun with friends, which I get, but the main problem is, mostly all of these old friends from high school are men. She saw I was absolutely wrecking me and proposed a break so she can have her fun without it hurting me. I explained my feelings and desire to just stay together. She has promised me, which I 100% believe because she is basically incapable of lying, that she has zero desire to have a relationship with anyone else. She just has developed the craving for this attention that she cannot give up. It has gotten to the point that she removed mention of our marriage in Facebook and will not wear her wedding ring when she's out with friends because it may cause her to get less attention. We discuss it almost daily. She desperately hopes it's just a phase that will eventually die off, but she is unwilling to stop in the meantime for fear of falling back into depression. Again, I do not believe she is cheating whatsoever. I do perhaps fear over time she will develop a connection with somebody else, but I know she has no desire to sleep with them. She just craves their attention. Am I wrong to be upset? Am I wrong for agreeing to allow this behavior for her happiness? Am I wrong for wanting her to acknowledge our marriage on Facebook? Are my feelings misplaced? She agrees that her actions are selfish and hurtful, but she doesn't want to stop because it makes her feel so good and she's afraid of falling into depression again. Are these normal feelings she's feeling? Divorce, the last thing I want, and not really something in my agenda at this moment. She's already in the medical profession, specifically mental health, a psychologist. She's not really interested in counseling because that's what she does and she already knows everything they'll tell her to try and she's tried it. She's had some other medical tests run and is awaiting those results. She's hoping something can be found as the culprit, because this is honestly a complete 180 of how she's felt her entire life. We're well aware something is off but not sure what. I'm well aware most people say they trust their spouse, but I honestly can say I do. She's been 100% upfront and honest about the entire thing. She wants it to stop as much as I do, but also is loving having the attention she's never had. I could be wrong, but I choose to believe her because I still trust her. I feel 100% confident she will not cheat. I guess I'm just wondering if this is a normal type of face some women go through. And if you knew 100% your wife would remain faithful, would you still have a problem with these actions? I asked her to not hang out with male friends, because it made me uncomfortable. A few of them were inappropriate and obviously only wanted one thing from her. Luckily, she noticed this as well and told those creeps to go to hell. She stopped for a short while but just said she needs to be able to go out and have fun with friends sometimes. She went to a doctor recently for a complete workup to see if anything is wrong. We're currently awaiting results. She admits that the way she feels is wrong, but she doesn't want to change it. She said she would be absolutely destroyed if I were to remove marriage labels on Facebook, but cannot be mad because she is doing it. Though she has said she would have zero issue with me hanging out with female friends in a platonic setting, which is what she's asking for. She just wants to be told she's good looking by other men when she's out. It's addicting, like a med. She knows it's bad and doesn't want to stop. She did take a short break but ended up getting back on again. She goes out with female friends too. It's not that it's exclusively male friends she goes out with. She also likes getting hit on by the women too. She's addicted to the feeling she gets when she's told she's good looking. She was always the smart friend, not the hot one. Now she's the hot one type of deal. She's not looking for compliments from her male friends. Maybe I haven't been too clear on that. They're just somebody to hang out with. It's other random weirdos on Facebook or when she's out in social settings with her friends. She's an adult. I can't make her do anything. She definitely would not have been okay with that agreement at the beginning of our marriage. Nor would have I but she has always been an extremely strong personality type. If you don't like it, you're free to leave type. She's not going to change her mind for anybody at any time. That's basically where we are now. She has said what she is doing is wrong, but she doesn't want to stop. She hopes it's a phase and she doesn't want the attention before long, but she's not going to stop while she wants it. She wants the phase to end where she doesn't want the attention. She doesn't want to stop getting the attention. I think this situation has so many layers that it's really hard to explain everything clearly for everyone. I understand people here have been through similar, that's part in why I came here. But I truly believe our situation is completely different than normal. We're very open and honest, always have been. She told me about it as soon as it started. I've seen the texts. Our son has been with her for probably more than half of the outings with her friends. I've watched some of her hangouts from my security cameras at the house. It sounds naive, but I know our situation is 100% different. That's something I don't say lightly. There's just more information as to why I have come to that conclusion than I have time or ability to explain on a forum like this. My question isn't, should I worry about her cheating? I'm not. If she were, she would tell me up front. But I'm looking for the best way to approach the situation for an honest talk about what I need to be happier in the relationship. I truly don't care about people flirting. I'm sure it feels great to get the attention. I'm not comfortable with the tactics she's using to get more attention. I, of course, would love her acknowledgement on Facebook. I'm not the social butterfly that she is. She has been encouraging me to go out with friends more, and I have. But all of my friends are male. 
I have asked how'd she feel if I went out with a female, and she said it would end her, but there's not much she can say about it, and that if it's what I feel I need to do she wouldn't say anything. I know I can say for a fact she gets very bored with them, quickly. A few days of texting and one day of hanging out and she's done with them. She just loses interest when they take it as something it's not, meaning they try to take it to a step further than platonic. My endgame has never changed. I meant my wedding vows when I took them. I'm 100% willing to be unhappy for a couple months to maintain a lifetime of happiness. Obviously, if she decides she wants to sleep with other people, things will likely change. She has said she feels the same way, she just needs some time to get through this phase on needing to feel hot and desired by others. And again, it's not all men. She loves the attention from women too. The not wearing the wedding ring is an argument every day. She's at a point where she's frankly just tired of hearing me talk about it. She said the time will come she'll tired start wearing it again, but it's not yet. I get it. I'm weak, I'm too understanding. After 15 years, I'm still head over heels in love. I have zero desire to ever be with another person and frankly the thought of it makes me sick. I haven't heard anything here that I didn't expect. I know exactly how things sound. What are the odds if I nut up, she straightens out. Or what needs to be done on my end to start preparing myself for a separation. I know things sound terrible, and I can't explain why it's different but it's just different. But what are the chances if I butt up, she straightens up. Or will this likely just erode things more quickly? I'm not to a point yet where separation is an option. She encourages me to go out and have fun. I have gone out for drinks with friends a few times. She's glad I'm having a good time. I just don't tell her I'd have more fun staying home with her. Maybe I'm smothering. I honestly don't want to do anything if it doesn't involve her. She has mentioned she thinks we're getting old and boring. We need to go out and have more fun. I have proposed finding some other couples to go out with and she loves the idea. But she also firmly believes she needs to have her friends and I have mine that we spend time with without each other every once in a while. It's weird, I don't let anybody walk over me, usually not even her. I've always been strong. But she came to me and just said she needs the attention for a while, and I tried to empathize with her. I don't want her to be unhappy. She encourages me to go out with friends as well. She has even said it can be females because it's only fair. She doesn't want me to sit at home and be miserable. I have actually had the talk with her about whether or not I'm weak for going along with it. She said stupid maybe, but definitely not weak. I feel that it takes an incredibly strong man to put that much trust in his spouse. If she does cheat or comes to me asking if she can, I draw the line. That won't happen and our marriage stay together. I've made that abundantly clear. She agrees and says that's not what she's after. She is purely in it for the high of being desired. She's not going on dates. She's never one-on-one -on -one with the guys. It always a group setting, mixed men and women. Like fishing trips, etc. But sometimes the main inviter is a male friend. Other times our son has gone and hung out with them too. So, I know she's not doing anything nefarious. I've asked before, she just says she wants us each to have our own group of friends, separate from each other. Sometimes it's healthy to have a little separation like that. She's not marked as single on her profile, she just made the relationship status to where only a handful of people can see it. She's still linked to my account, she's just hidden it from public view. We have set a time to sit down and draw fair boundary lines. This coming after I return from a business trip and after the results from her tests are in. We have, in the meantime, drawn boundary lines to get us by until that conversation can happen. She is completely willing to enter a discussion to set clear and fair boundaries for the sake of the marriage. It's something we discuss every single day. As for your other question, it's a mixed group. Some single, some married. Some couples come together, some leave their spouse at home. It's a group that has been friends since high school and they have just kept that same circle so to speak. She really has no made me plan B. I am still her priority six days of the week. But about one day a week she just wants to go out with her friends and be left alone. Again, that's not too much of my issue. The main issue being she doesn't want to acknowledge our marriage in fear of losing the attention of Facebook creeps or wearing her wedding ring to miss out on the attention of other creeps. But she is always very blunt with them. I'm not interested in anything, I just want you to call me hot. She's not always hanging out in bars. She's always up front with people if they ask if she's married. She's just afraid the appearance of a ring might detract from one's desire to compliment her. She's always bluntly honest that she just wants their compliments, nothing more. I definitely want to get home so we can have our talk about strict boundaries, which she is 100% on board with. We also are awaiting lab results from tests run. I think it would be unfair to make a hasty decision before those things happen. I do plan on laying it all out in our discussion. I am a little afraid that I'll agree to some terms I'm not happy with just to avoid separation. But I do know she's as willing as I am to have these discussions, set these boundaries, and make this work. But she's steadfast on some of her wants in the compromise as am I on some of mine. So, some test results have come in. Not enough to be 100% conclusive yet, but initial results lean towards there being an issue causing inflammation on the brain. More tests are being run to identify if it is what the doctor suspects. After a steroid shot, she seems to be feeling much better. 
She has already made a preliminary agreement to start wearing her ring again and has remarked herself as married on Facebook. I would not say the situation is completely taken care of yet, but things seem to be well in their way. We will still be having a serious talk about acceptable behavior, but I am hopeful that we have found a root cause at this point. Another update. I ended up taking the advice and hired a PI to follow her for a couple days. One night she went out with a group of friends to a bar. While all of her friends drank, she drank water and ate chips and salsa. She rebuffed the advances of men coming over to her and asking her to dance, but her a drink, etc. She actually called me that night after she got home and her story 100% matches the story the PI told me. Another day she went out for a ride in the motorcycle. She met up with a friend and they rode around for a couple hours, then parted ways. Nothing nefarious went on. Again, she called me once she got home and I got the exact same story from her that the pie relayed to me. I took off a couple days early to surprise her by coming home early. She was ecstatic, super excited to see me and jumped my bones as soon as she saw me. Pretty well standard behavior every time I come home. Our bonding has always been great. She talked about how excited she was that I was able to come home early and cancelled plans she had with friends for set night so we could go out together. We have not had our big talk yet but have had some smaller ones about what the future holds. She is 100% committed to making this work and is willing to give up some of the things that make me uncomfortable. I will continue to have the PI track her for a while, but so far, I think we're off to a great start from my viewpoint. Also want to clarify that she's not meeting men for dates. She deletes anybody from Facebook once they progress past telling her she looks good. They make friends she is hanging out with are almost always in a group setting and they're always friends from high school, people she grew up with. No more medical updates as of yet, though there is another appointment with the doctor next week which should answer some more questions. The doctor did say the inflammation certainly could have caused both the depression and newly found desire for attention, and that relief from these desires with a steroid shot make it even more likely those more testing was run for a thorough diagnosis. I have made it clear that her actions are unfair to both me and any men that she enters conversation with, as well as potentially dangerous. She acknowledges this is the case. She stated this is why she only meets friends she has known for years and not the creeps from Facebook, and why she straight up blows off the creeps from Facebook because she literally has zero interest in them beyond compliments. I've made it known that I'm here to support her through these issues she's having but there must be clear borders drawn that she cannot cross. Anytime I've asked her what I can do to change things, I get the it's not you, it's me answer. She said there is absolutely zero she would change about me as a husband and father. She just needs some space to figure things out for herself. She said while she loves me and the kids with everything she has, she doesn't think she loves herself. And that is something that she needs to find. We had a long talk last night and have decided to separate for a trial period. We will see how things go living separated and we'll discuss whether we want to be together or not after a probably three month time frame. I was not willing to give her everything she wanted and certain concessions I wanted she wouldn't agree to, so we decided a trial separation is best. My comment, that went downhill quick. So much for her commitment to making things work. You may want to start vetting attorneys and working on your next relationship. I hope I'm wrong, but from what you said, it sounds like she is a loose cannon and the only thing that may have prevented her from hooking up with someone else is the structure of your marriage. With that jettisoned, she will do her own thing. All you can do now is do yours. Don't sit and wait for her. Play her game. If you get traction, she'll more than likely adjust her attitude really quick. You stood strong for the right things. Continue being strong. OP responds. So last night, things took a strange turn. I decided to try to talk to somebody else, just to put myself out there and see how it would go. My wife was out with friends and it was something to occupy my time. As I've stated before, we're always completely open with each other so when she returned home, I told her about it. She got a strange look on her face and asked for details. It was a fair and honest question as I have always asked her for details, but I, likely the same with her, was a little uncomfortable with it. She then asked for pictures. I admit, I was in the wrong in telling her I didn't know where to find one. I eventually relented and showed her. It turned into quite a little fight, but before long we were in bed and sleeping together. This morning we talked about it. She told me she's not upset about me talking to anybody else but was upset I was deceitful about the situation because she's always been completely open and honest with me about hers. She said she's no longer sure if she wants to take a three-month separation and thinks it may be best to go straight to divorce. She asked if we could go to the courthouse tomorrow to get the paperwork to look it over and talk about it. And why thought process through all of this has been to try and save my marriage. I thought three months may have been enough of a time frame for her to come to her senses. Now I'm thinking I may have just destroyed any chance of that happening. What's more, we're still hanging out. We hung out all day yesterday. We're going out to see fireworks this evening. We're going to dinner tomorrow and have an entire day planned together Tuesday. I'm wondering if I'm just hurting myself more in this situation. My comment, she wants to divorce you, that seems pretty clear. She wants to be able to go out and get all these guys hot and bothered and pick whoever it is she wants to sleep with. 
She does not value your marriage, does not value your friendship, and does not respect you or the marriage. 